Mr. Kramer, you are the director of the auto division. Will the production of electric vehicle change something compared to the production now? For sure, for sure. Um, this uh, change in the electric vehicle will overall um, modify the structure and the application in the automotive business. So uh, an electric vehicle is different from a combustion engine. Thus, this will um, provoke a complete uh, uh, change uh, in the type of application and uh, subsystem in mechatronics that we will propose. But this change will take uh, place uh, gradually. We are active in certain applications like aerodynamics or thermal management, but um, there will be new applications that will take place from now to 2030 and uh, this will strengthen the new uh, opportunities for us to uh, make new systems for, for our customers. How important is it to regulate an electric vehicle schooling system? If you look at electric vehicle, you, are, you have less uh, heated energy into the car. So um, in certain conditions, you have to change the way you manage the energy into the, the car. And for example, uh, for a battery, um, you have to, to maintain the level of battery to a certain level to not uh, degrade the performance or destroy it. Could you give us an example? Yes, for example, a battery in the winter, when you have minus 10 degrees Celsius in, uh, in the morning, um, you can have a problem to start your engines. You need to preheat your battery um, and th therefore you need some new systems. So for with a resistor, for example, to, to heat your battery, or you have to uh, use some specific uh, energy recuperation system like a heat pump um, to, uh, to concentrate all the energy of uh, the vehicle or to provide more energy to the battery to be heated and to achieve the right level of temperature. And what are the roles of your accurators? As you understand, uh, the way to manage the heat energy into the car must be very precise and flexible. And actu our actuators are major contributors to be flexible and to be optimized in terms of positioning, in terms of performance, in terms of noise uh, for electric vehicle. And thanks to that, we are a major contributor to these new kind of functions in the electric vehicle. With your mechatronic system, how much improvement in fuel efficiency do you estimate? Um, if we talk, for example, of aer car aerodynamic, it's valuable for electric or, or combustion engine. Um, and if you look at the system and the actuator of this system, we are able to improve the whole system of one or two percent of consumption, either in fuel or, or electric consumption. So this means that we are opening and closing some grill in the front of the vehicle to reduce the drag coefficient, so the pressure on of the air when the car is rolling. And does that also mean more autonomy for the driver? Yeah, in a nutshell, it means you do more kilometer with the same range of power. And uh, this is what is important. No doubt that uh, our system can contribute a lot to uh, a better and efficient uh, electric vehicle for the future. And that's uh, all the solutions we are, we are working on right now. Thanks a lot to be here, Mr. Kremer.